Hi guys, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I'm just going to go through and show you how you can um, display HTML text in your text views. It should be a real quick one this one. So a new project, I'm going to create a new project, I'm just going to call it HTML or something like that. Uh, I'm going to use API 16, blank activity and leave the defaults. OK, so we've got our, our startup screen, so I'm just going to highlight everything. Control, Alt and L, just to tidy all this up. And here's our text view here, so I'm going to display, have some HTML display in here, in our text view. So what I need to do first, I need to give it an ID, because I need to reference it later. So I'm just going to go ID, and I want that at ID, and you want to give it an ID, anything, call it anything you want, I'm just going to call it text view 1. OK, and that's all we need to do there. So we're going to go straight over to our main, main activity file and we want our this on create method. We can actually delete all this rubbish. We don't don't need any of that for this demonstration. So all we've got is this on create. So it's going to display our activity main XML, which is this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a text view object. I'm just going to call it my text. Something nice and simple. Now it's asking us to um, import this, so we just want to Alt Enter, and it's import. It's stuck up here. So more text, and it's going to be equals, and we want to find view by ID. So it's going to look for a view by its ID, and as you can, as I said, it's the ID we've given it is this here. Tech, well in this case, text view one. So whatever you've called it. So it's going to be R dot ID dot text view one there is there and we want a semicolon on you there and what's happening there it's complaining there's a squiggly line saying something's not right here because what's happened this 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 um, method here find view by ID uh, returns a view and it doesn't know what view you want it to be it could be any kind of view it could be a text view it could be a button image view but in this case it's going to be a text view so we just need to tell it that's going to return a text view I mean, that's what's called casting. So we're casting it to a text view. So that's that done. And now what you want to do is you want to go, we want to put in our HTML text. So I need to reference my text object, my uh, text view object called my text. Oh, that is there. And we want dot set text because we want to set the text of the uh, view. And we want HTML, so capital H, capital HTML, dot from HTML. And here we can put in our, in these parentheses, we can put in our HTML code. So we could say um, something like header one, oh, speech marks, um, header one, and so this is going to be our header so we can say something like um uh, head on a headline um john win john wins gold in um break dancing competition i don't know whatever you want yay um and then we want obviously want to close that oh we want to close that header and then possibly we want to break. Actually, what we'll do is we'll put on a new line. So we we'll come down and let's move it across. We've got plus speech marks. We want to break, just like we would do normally in our HTML code. And we'll come down again, and we want to put in maybe our paragraph. And you want your awesome content would normally display here blah 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 and it's spelled normally properly change typo to normally <coughs> there we go and we want to finish off that paragraph oh. Okay, so let's play that. 
You want to launch your emulator. I'll go for that one. Bloop. And there we go. There's our text view showing our HTML code. And that's it guys. Nice quick one. And thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.